Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's continue our discussion on troubleshooting SQL Server transactional replication. In part 1, we discussed about step 1, 2, and 3. I showed how to analyze log reader and distribution agents and come to conclusion where we are being stuck. In step 3, for example, we are able to define which thread is causing the issue, reader or writer thread. Based on this, we move to step 4, where we analyze related threads. In this part, I will talk about this fourth step. Let's get started. Firstly, let's assume that you found latency in log reader's, reader's reader thread. Therefore, we start by going to step 4.1. Firstly, we define the level of reader thread latency by running below query in publisher server. The result shows reader thread replicating on average this amount of transactions per second, and many transactions are waiting to be replicated to distribution database. On average, transactions are waiting this amount of seconds to be replicated. Here we can see higher latency because I stopped log reader agent to create latency. However, if you face the same issue in your environment, this means that log reader thread is not catching up and facing latency. You should investigate log reader thread in this case. Let me show you how to do that. First, run this command in publisher server and find session ID of log reader's reader thread. We can see that the session ID of log reader thread is 62. I placed this session ID to the below event session and created event session. Okay, then I run the session for about five minutes. Then we investigate the event session logs. I add important columns here, activity ID and sequence IDs. Then I group by the logs by activity ID. Each of these activity is log reader threads attempt to read replicated data from transaction log. Okay. RPC completed means that log reader thread is trying to get data from transaction log to get to to be replicated to the distribution database. Okay. Let's check one of them. Here you can see my RPC completed. And uh, we did not face any huge latency here. If you face latency with log reader thread, there would be huge numbers here with many weights. You can easily spot weight type, how long and what we are waiting easily, right? You can also confirm CPU time, logical reads, physical reads, and other useful information in details part of RPC completed event. If wait time is high compared to CPU time, check wait type and troubleshoot accordingly. For example, in our case, memory allocation EXT is wait type, right? Uh, we face, but the duration is zero. Okay, we did not face any significant weights related to this wait type. But if you face any significant latency, for example, IO completion wait type, right? You, you might face if your IO subsystem is very slow. In that case, you should troubleshoot accordingly. You should troubleshoot why IO subsystem is slow and just. Uh, uh, consult with your IO storage team. If CPU time is higher, for example, this means that log thread is running, but latency is being observed because you have high load. High load can be caused by several causes. First one is large batch of replicated transactions. Large batch of transactions are the main cause of latency in reader thread performance. Check the number of comments and transactions in agent statistics from various logs we obtained in step 3. If the number of comments is significantly high compared to the number of transactions, it is possible that large transactions are being replicated. For example, in, uh, you, can, you can see here, as number of transactions is around 17,000, but number of comments is uh, 1,000 times more than that, right? If reader or latency is caused by a large number of pending comments like this, Waiting for the log reader to catch up may be the best short-term solution. Long-term options include replicating batches during non-peak time. Second one is large number of non-replication transactions. 
A transaction log with high percentage of non-replicated transactions will cause latency as the log reader scans all transactions to be ignored. Okay, So you can check whether this problem exists by looking at log reader agent history we checked in step 3. For example, in the below log reader history, we can see more than 5 million rows are being scanned, but only 152. To 50, uh, 142 rows have been marked for replication. In this case, ensure that constant transaction log truncation, okay, and try to perform maintenance activities during offline. Last one is high number of VLFs. A large number of virtual log files can contribute to long running read times. For the, for the number of VLFs, execute the following command. And if counts is once 100 uh, K plus, it may be contributing to log reader thread performance. Okay, in this case, you should decrease number of VLFs. We learned how to check log reader agents read a thread latency. Let's now learn how to check log reader agents write a thread. Let's first find session ID of log reader agents write a thread. As you can see in my case, it is 64. Then simply by running spwho command, I check whether this session is being blocked or not. As you can see, it is not being blocked. So blocking is not issue in our case. Then we will switch to next step. We run this query in distributor server by changing the session ID to log reader session ID and create extended event to track writer thread performance. We run this event session for about five minutes. After that, we stop and show necessary columns. Then we group by activity. Each of these activity is write a threads attempt to write replication logs to distribution database. Okay, so you can see here wait information. Each individual comments write a thread is running and how long it is taking. If you observe slow performance, you can track here where we are spending more time in waiting for something or executing some command. For example, here select command is taking 67 microseconds, very, very little. So no problem. Okay. And here also we can see weight types right memory allocation related and it is nearly zero so weight type is also not causing any issue in this way by looking at duration we can spot where we are being stuck if we are stuck at some kind of weight check weight type and troubleshoot accordingly for example i have seen many cases where network io weight type was spending a lot of time okay duration was very high for this weight type then we troubleshooted accordingly the io subsystem of the server if we are stuck at some kind of statement for example right check the execution plan by using corresponding plan handle for time consuming query which you can get from their event logs here plan handle. You can just run this query to get execution plan. Let's now switch to checking latency in distribution agents read thread performance. First, we should find the session ID for distribution agent. To find the session ID, you need to find if it is push or pull subscription. In the case of push subscription, you should run this command in distributor server. In the case of pull subscription, you should run below command the subscriber server. Okay, as you can see, session ID in our case is 60. Then we simply by running spwho command, uh, we check whether this session is being blocked or not. As you can see, it is not being blocked. So blocking is not our issue. Okay, then we will switch to next step. We run this query in distributor server by changing the session ID to distribution agent read the thread session ID and create extended event to track thread performance. We run this event session for about five minutes. After that, we stop and show necessary columns.
Then we group by activity. Each of these activity is read threads attempt to read replication logs. You can see here, wait information, each individual comments read a thread is running and how long it is taking. If you observe slow performance, you can track here where we are spending more time in waiting for something or executing some comment. In this way, by looking at duration, we can st spot where we are being stuck. If we are stuck at some kind of wait, we should check wait type and troubleshoot accordingly. If we are stuck at some kind of statement, this read thread is running, for example, we should check execution plan by using corresponding plan handle for time consuming query. You can use this query to get execution plan. Finally, let's finish our session by learning how to check latency in distribution agents right to thread. We follow the same steps. We go to subscriber and first we find the session ID and app name. Please be careful. This time we are also finding app name for distribution agent by inserting our app, uh, publication name to where close. Okay. So how to get publication name? You can just uh, go to publication name. I go to local subscriptions. Okay. You can just uh, check here. As you can see, two sessions are running for right and right. This is often observed. One session, two session. Okay. So this is the application name. Okay. Uh, application name, however, is the same. Session ID is this different, but application name is the same. Let's check blocking for these sessions. As you can see, these sessions are not being blocked. So blocking is not issue in our case. Then we will switch to next step. We run this query in subscriber server by inserting app name. Please note that you should insert correct app name here. Okay. Then we run this event session for about five minutes after creating. After that, we stop and show necessary columns. Then we group by activity. Each of these activity is writer threads attempt to apply transaction logs to the destination database. You can see here wait information, if any. Each individual comments writer thread is running and how long it is taking. If you observe slow performance, you can track here where we are spending more time in waiting for something, some kind of resource or executing insert, delete, update, some kind of comments. Okay. In this way, by looking at duration, we can spot where we are being stuck. If we are stuck at some type of wait, check wait type and troubleshoot accordingly. If we are stuck at some kind of statement, check the execution plan by using corresponding plan handle for time consuming query, which you can get from the event logs. You can just run this query to get execution plan. Okay, I hope you found this session useful. If so, please do not forget to like it and subscribe for more interesting videos on SQL Server. Thank you.